My name is Dr. Jeremy Chlorophene. I'm a cardiac psychologist, and my partner of 10 years is... Dr. Joel Oakley, board-certified cardiologist. Okay. We're going to talk about sudden cardiac death today. We do a screening program for kids. Uh, the bottom line is that no child should die of sudden cardiac death again. We, we screen kids from ages 3 to 30. Basically, what sudden cardiac death is, it is as bad as it sounds. Um, some kid goes to soccer practice, basketball practice, and out of nowhere, and usually there are no symptoms. Um, suddenly, a, a kid loses consciousness, drops to the floor, and within minutes, uh, unfortunately... Let's put it dead. simpler. You get a call to come to the school or the community center, and it's bad news. I've been on the other side of the call, having to make that call. There are screening programs out there. The problem is this, that most screen with an electrocardiogram and EKG. Well, those are the leads, that when you put hook up the leads. leads. Right? Nice test, pretty good 40 years ago, but now we have cardiac ultrasound, echocardiography, which is the state of the art. That is the only way to accurately diagnose this test. Um, we know that there are certain sports uh, where often kids, kids have suffered from this disease and actually died. It can be soccer, it can be basketball, track, commonly football as well. Hockey? Hockey as well. And so and most importantly is that about 1 in 500 people in the U.S. actually have HCM. And what we know is up to thousands of kids die each year from this disease. The problem is that there's never been proactive, preventative measures to actually screen kids for this for these diseases and we want to do something about it. There's no reason any child should die from this again.